Hey, what's up, y'all? Christy Kalea here, and today we are making cobia fish tacos with a honey, garlic, and lime aioli sauce. Woo! So, let's just get to the cooking, baby, because I'm hungry in real life. <laughs> let's do it. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel our garlic so we can chop it up. You can go ahead and use the minced garlic in the jar if that's easier for you, but I like chopping my garlic fresh. So I'm gonna chop the entire clove and we're gonna use the entire clove of garlic when it comes to seasoning. Now we're gonna go ahead and chop our Kobe into three pieces because we got three tacos. So three tacos, three pieces. Uh, and I'm gonna even that a little bit later because it's definitely not proportionate right now, but we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning. So we're gonna use a little bit of ground cumin, we're gonna add some cayenne pepper to it, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and then we're gonna finish it up with some black peppercorn. So we are, I am gonna add a little bit more later because that is not enough at the moment, but let's go ahead and start basing our cobia. So we are going to flip it on all sides and make sure that it is evenly coated right we're going to get a nice brownish hue on both sides of it i'm going to do this for all three pieces so that we can make sure that this is taken care of correctly and the last piece getting that thing nice and ready for the pot y'all <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and chop up our lime the lime is going to be used in the actual aioli sauce that we're going to drizzle on top of it so i'm only going to use half of the lime uh, because it's not that necessary um i am using a little bit of fat free mayo we're going to add some honey to it as well and then i'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt just because i really love the taste of garlic and we're going to stir it up so because I'm not actually reducing it over a stove, it's not going to have like a consistent texture, but it's still gonna taste good, right? So that's all that really matters to me. Here I am thickening it up a little bit just because at the moment it was just a little too watery for me to be able to use as a sauce. So I want the way to get it as thick as possible. And the key to that is just adding more honey um, because the honey is obviously going to uh, give it a tacky feeling and it's gonna make it stickier. I also added a little bit of remnants of the uh, garlic seasoning that I used prior. And then I also added some cayenne pepper just to give it a little bit of kick. Now we're going to go ahead and cut up our jalapenos, which we're going to use as a garnish on top of it. So I had to cut it whole and then just break off the middle piece, um, the little ugly pieces that we don't like to eat the seeds. And we're going to put all of this to the side because we got to get ready to go ahead and start frying our fish up. All right, let's do it. So. I'm using a cast iron skillet and I am frying this in olive oil. So I have it on about 4 out of 10 and pretty much I'm just rotating it every couple minutes as I see it continuously brown um, and then also as I see the garlic burn um, because once the garlic starts burning then uh, that pretty much means that we have been cooking the fish long enough to go ahead and start flash frying it. So. I'm just going to go ahead and brown it on all sides, making sure that we're getting all of the uh, extra olive oil that is in the pan on top of the fish. Uh, because I didn't put a lot in it because I wanted to pan fry it, not deep fry it. So you're just going to see me continuously just going over it, removing some of the old garlic, flipping it, and just making sure that all sides of the fish are evenly browned so that it is 100% well cooked and good to go. Now, these are three corn tortillas. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the uh, coleslaw on top. So this is going to be the base of what it is that we're going to work with. Now we can go ahead and start putting some of the fish on top so we can layer our tacos. So remember I cut it earlier uh, into three pieces Well, I actually ended up correcting it. So now you see it looks a little better. Let's go ahead and add our jalapenos on top. So we can go ahead and get that going. Oh, that looks beautiful. And next we're gonna go ahead and drizzle, baby. We're drizzling. Mm, 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 mm. I'm getting hungry again, just thinking about it. But yeah, those are our tacos, baby. That's it, super simple, not hard to make. And that's my jam. So that is all. Here I am taking my pictures for the gram. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh, look at that, look at that, y'all. Mm. And it, it took me a solid 15 minutes to cook this entire meal. Like, super quick, low calories, easy to make, and taste fantastic. Oh, 